They are a staple in Minnesota communities, indoor ice arenas. Brooklyn Park has two that provide thousands of hours of ice time for athletes all across the metro. But soon the city could be down to just one rink. And as you can imagine, it is not sitting well with some. Jennifer Hoff is here to show you what the city wants to build in its place. Jennifer. Randy, the council is considering remodeling its activity center where those rinks are. A multi-million dollar investment that could include closing the larger of the two ice rink arenas in favor of several new multi-use courts. The Brooklyn Park Activity Center is a bustling place full of skaters and spectators all throughout the year. Yeah. Including yep. Sarah Furco, head of the Three Rivers Skating Club, whose 70 members use the two rinks more than 40% of the year. We will take whatever ice we can get. And there's a huge demand and people will drive from far away to get ice. Add in several schools and other organizations, FERCO can't figure why the city is considering closing one rink, part of a $15 million remodel, including three multi-use courts in its place, along with improvements to the parking lot and entrance. There's space here to add on. There's other space in Brooklyn Park, but the city has only brought one proposal forward with no input from anyone in the Brooklyn Park community. City leaders addressed the idea last month at a work session when council members asked about its impact on the community. There would be some inconvenience and some trade out certainly within that regard. Perko saying she first heard about the proposal last spring, the city confirming it's paying for the revamp with both a park bond referendum and state money lawmakers approved. That Furco hopes can keep everyone happy, as her team, though, is still skating into the unknown. I believe we can be a city with both. They're forcing an or conversation where we should be having and. We also found out the city council has yet to be presented this plan in full. That is expected to happen at a meeting next week. And then the council could potentially give this the green light at its meeting the week after. They are also reportedly considering plans to include a teen and senior center, as well as building a field house. Back to you.